Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Guess what day it is? It's hump day, Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. And today we're talking about some highlights, some look aheads, and we'll hear from Christina Antonucci for equestrian as well. But first, we go to this field last night where men's lacrosse took care of business. Here we go, ODAC quarterfinal action. Randolph Macon has never defeated Lynchburg since Coach Kadelka came here 22 seasons ago. And it was established early that this would be no different. Trammell Robinson with one of his two goals on great passing. Speaking of passing, Colin McGuire has two defenders slide to him, so it leaves Kevin Rogers open for one of four goals on the afternoon slash evening for the left-handed slash right-handed red hair rocket. Kevin Rogers killing the game. Later in the game, Colin McGuire showing a bit of sauce as he slides in, falls down, still scores the goal. And deja vu later on in the contest. This time his man goes down, he turns back, goes where he was, splits the defenders, falls and scores one of four for Colin McGuire. Highlight of the night comes from Mr. Peter Robertson. His first career goal was a Hornet in transition. And Lynchburg wins big 24-6, advancing to take on the Generals Friday evening from Washington and Wade. Moving on to women's tennis in the ODAC quarterfinal round, battling Roanoke for the second time this season. Roanoke took the first match indoors. Lynchburg took the Maroons outside and changed all of that. In doubles action, Christina Harris and Hallie Lavieri combining for the victory there. On court three, it's Reagan Kuhn, who talked in the postgame interview about forcing the other team into mistakes, and that will get you points. She does right there. Wiley and Kuhn finish with the win in doubles. Lavieri in singles, one of five Hornets to win their singles matches, forcing Roanoke into a mistake. And this one from Wiley is just a great shot that the Roanoke player said, nah, not even going to worry about it. The first ODAC tournament victory for Coach Johnson is a big one as it advances them to the semifinals for the first time in program history. They will battle Virginia Wesleyan from Virginia Wesleyan on Saturday. While most of our spring teams are in their conference tournament season, Christina Antonucci for Lynchburg Equestrian has been waiting about a month before she could compete again. And tomorrow she will be at IHSA Nationals in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Here's what she had to say about her previous experiences at Nationals and what she's most excited about. I'm very excited to go back to Nationals again. It's in a facility that I've been to before in the past two years, have been in Kentucky. and. This year it's in Harrisburg, so I'm excited to, you know, have some new scenery, maybe some of the same horses as previous years, which I think it would give me an advantage, but I'm overall very excited. What I've learned from the past is to really just stay relaxed and not rush things, because you're very nervous and you're tense, and you really just have to take a deep breath and relax and do what you know and not let nerves get to you. Good luck to Christina tomorrow and good luck to these teams today. Men's tennis battling Hampton Sydney at HSC today at 2 p.m. in the ODAC quarterfinal round. Baseball is here at home for their final regular season game of the year. They will take on Marymount at 4 p.m. from Foxfield this afternoon, getting ready for a return to the ODAC tournament this Saturday. Women's lacrosse will provide the nightcap as they look to take down Roanoke for the second time this year. That game is at 5, and the network is LHSN. Well, that's going to do it for our show. Good luck to everyone who has exams today. I know it's a very stressful time of the year for our students and our student athletes, but find anything you can to relieve stress, whether that be watch a funny video, go for a walk. I know that one of our student athletes today said, I just need a project to do that's not school related, and that'll make me feel a lot less stressed. So whatever it is for you, find that today, find that the rest of the week, and support your Hornets today. Again, as we mentioned, tennis and baseball in action, baseball here at home, women's the cross the nightcap as they look to advance to the semifinals this weekend a lot going on you can follow along with the one nation app and at lynchburgsports.com until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m from harrisburg pennsylvania because that's where we'll be i'm joe hutzler saying to remember it's a great day to be a hornet and we are one nation